I'm not side affiliated, running bird veteran, put the demonstration down. Now these niggas hating. Man from the come up, this a goddamn shit. So we got Trey Trey about that. What's up, my boy? What it do, man? Trey Trey about that up in this bitch. I'm in this bitch with my boy GTV, Greg the Walker, and my king folks CFN Gillum. You know what I'm saying? Fence. What's the deal? Man, let's go and get to it, man. Give a bio of who you are, where you from, and what you represent. Man, I already done told y'all the name, but um, I'm from San Antonio. I'm from everywhere. I grew up on the east side when I was small, but you know, Section 8, baby, I don't really live everywhere. I represent all over the town. Um, been rapping for a minute. A lot of people know me out here. Some people do, some people don't. After this next tape, they we do. Tell me about San Antonio. What's the vibes? That, as far as that vibe, man, our music is is really intertwined with lifestyle, like real lifestyle. That's why a, a lot of the flashy shit that motherfuckers might expect from the next city that claims to be doing it like this and like that, where every other day you're looking on the news and they boss niggas is in the feds because they boss niggas is rappers, our boss niggas is quiet. Our boss niggas is really good. Our boss niggas is... They not moving like that. It's a couple rappers out here that's making noise in the street at the same time, and you know we pray for them. We hope they be careful. You know what I'm saying? But a, 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 a lot of that, a lot of that is low key. You know what I'm saying? You just this niggas walking around diamonds, gold, and shit like that. But like, you're not gonna see too many niggas trying to do the most, trying to imitate Big Meech down here. That's the vibe. The vibe is really street oriented, thug oriented, gangster oriented. It's like real crime oriented. Like we understand crime real well, so we understand the do's and don'ts. You'd be surprised who does, too. It'll fuck you up. But like, it's like a whole city wave. Like it's, it, it used to be real corrupt and they cleaned it up, so everybody still remember what it was. Right, everybody really be staying in their own lane, really, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? People mind their own business, and like, niggas that you would, you would you see with motion on a normal basis, you know, they like to flaunt their shit. Down here, it's like, you wouldn't know if a nigga had motion or not, because we don't want you to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, we really follow the yeah, rules. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's real rules to the game in a lot of in a lot of cities. They in a lot of other places. You know, they never they they don't know nothing about San Antonio. They might not even know nothing about Texas. They think we still riding horses, horses right, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and getting shot for dating white hoes. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's really not the vibe at all, fam. It's 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 real low key. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's low key on purpose though, because damn near. Everything that you do your research on and you look deep into it, if it's a whole lot of money going on, it might have started a certain way that can't nobody really talk about it. It'll fuck everybody up. So we kind of keep our mind closed. Now you're surprised, you got to surprise you. Cause it, it, but it's like that, it's live. It's fun though. And it's mixed breeds everywhere. I ain't the only one. Yeah, everybody got something going on. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, it's one of the most family oriented cities in the nation. Keep in mind, goddamn it. That's why it's there's so low key with our OGs because they know what's going on. Because right. like, they know, understand yeah. the rules. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why it's like that. It ain't no place where it's this much shit going on and it's this many tourist attractions at the same time. You gotta know somebody. Because we somebody. following the rules. Yeah, so our motion keep going. You know what I'm talking about? How long have you been rapping? Man, or or when did you first discover your talent? No lie, I've been rapping since I was 11 fucking years. Yeah. Like just freestyling outside and people claiming to God that I like big punchlines from other rappers and shit. And I might have had, I was a kid, I don't know. I'm yeah, just trying man. to jump out there with the teenagers that spit. Cause my kid from Milan, he was like one of the illest little pop lock dancers. He could do backflips off one foot. He was just amazing. He did now RP. But he was just fucking amazing. To this day, I still feel like he was the liveest male dancer in San Antonio. With a chest full of weed. Don't need to take a breath. Come straight from outside with asthma. Yeah. Chest full of weed. <sighs> Come inside, backflip, do heel toe, whatever he talking about. And then he gonna stop, elbow me two times in the chest and kick that beatbox. And I'm gonna rock that bitch. We even had the same routine. Ever, ever since high school. Since we was little, like I can't even sit here and lie and pretend like, oh, well, I just started rapping. I just started dropping tapes. But I ain't just start rapping. That's why I be talking my shit about who the champ, who the king, freestyle this, freestyle that. A lot of people might not know it, but that Trap Boy Freddy single, his biggest, I ain't trying to diss him, I ain't gonna say it like that. But that Trap Boy Freddy single, Lil Quila, that was us down here when we was little kids. Oh, so you know what I'm saying? So I've been rapping that long. You know what I'm saying? So you know Trap Boy? No! I don't know Trap Boy, like his his partner just got at me asking how, how he can get in contact with Quilla because he sampled the vocals. 
and he wanted to just know like, hey, it's a little piece of you in here, you know, and if it get real legal, it really, it's like background noise, bro, what's up? And we agreed on like some beats and shit, cleared it up like that. Cause that's her part of the song, that's her money, that's her contract. I literally just sent them the link to her Instagram and let them do business, whatever they came to, I don't even know. That was her layup for her. So you were 11 when you first started rapping, okay, you doing your thing, when did you first get a taste of fame? Not fame, I don't think I ever had fame. It was, it was a, a spotlight on Man say that freestyle battery, when they told me like, hey man, they having competitions at these teen clubs. They used to throw teen events. That the adults from my generation, they cared about the kids in a different way. Now the adults in this generation, they gonna keep kids in sports and all that kind of shit. The adults from our generation, they kept kids partying, oh shit. They kept kids partying. They kept kids birthday this, birthday that. Balloon events, you know, uh, uh, water gun events. So when you become a teenager, you want to, you know, you want to do rapper shit. Yeah, so they yeah. do rap events. And man, say, ten dollars to get into the contest, when to get all the money? All the little kids in town think they live. This is like right when Bow Wow fell off. The niggas was really high school age going platinum. Every little nigga with some bars think he lit. Mm -hmm. Wasn't as lit as us. <laughs> Man, we smoking niggas. I'm buying my school clothes and my cousin's school clothes out badly. We sitting up. Th -th 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 -th. Is that hot? Th -th 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 -th. Is that hot? Right. Every event, nigga, face on the flight. You know what I'm saying? That ain't fame to me though. Is that fame to you? I mean, that's like popularity. That's high school that's popularity. popularity. Yeah, popularity by like you know. Yeah. That's the same as fame, bro. Yeah, they on, on such a small Growing score. Attention yeah. yeah, yeah, but see, like I told you, like a lot of niggas in the tone really do what they rap about. I got arrested with all that high school shit going on. Like, I bullshit you not, the same number, I mean, the same year, the same month, pretty much, that all that rapping, high school battle, all that shit, nigga, nigga caught that case. So, you know, it, it was short lived. That's why, at least to me, I don't feel like it was fame. I don't know who was talking about me while I was gone or who was. Let me be known, oh, this nigga is the shit, he live like this, he live like that. But nigga, I did not stay out of trouble from the time that we dropped the video. Damn it to just like, nigga, I just got off parole last year. Oh, yeah, so yeah. That, that was the first video that you dropped. And hit my wig. Yeah, fam, that's like the only official video I have. Fam, I'm so like picky and so, so, uh, I don't want to make some piece of shit. I don't want to make some ordinary shit. I don't want to make some regular shit. Maybe like something that everybody's on as far as like the wave, like right now the wave is rapping or something hanging from the ceiling. So we jumped on it and I think we crushed it because we like really in the middle of a neighborhood. We're not up against the wall or anything. You damn near got to guess what the fuck we even got it hanging from. And I ain't gonna tell you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. That was the whole process. <laughs> but nigga, <laughs> unless a nigga can make another, to me that's a masterpiece. And in like six months and I'm done 2000 and I ain't paid nobody to go look at this. I ain't got in no little Asian internet people. That I ain't know this to the Asian. I know you gotta watch the fuck you say. I'm bitch of Asian. I be feeling like I can say whatever the fuck I want about it because I'm blended. But nigga, like a nigga ain't done none of that. And that bitch got like two point something K on it. So they, you know, it's it's alright. But I don't want to make nothing that ain't at least as good as that or better. So it's like man, just keep just keep feeling that, keep feeling that. I give you a tape. I see in the lab. It's easier for me to come up with a movie and sound than it is to make a movie with my eyes. I'm not a videographer. I'm a rapper. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So you were in high school, or uh, high school, how did you feel? Yeah. Man, say, all of the, at Warren, and it was crazy, I went to Warren, as soon as I got there, it, it, it was a different little vibe, and it's still like that, no lie. A group of kids after us, they, they got a couple million rapping at, at that same school. It's like a hip hop oriented school. It's like a talent oriented school. Like when you go to that school, the teachers are not, having a problem with like niggas doing a jerk in the middle of the fucking cafeteria. Let them niggas go off to their tie. Less problems for the teacher in the classroom. They won't have no energy to fight each other. You know what I mean? But, and I don't know if that was their real vibe, but they just let entertaining kids live. Cause you know, it's, it's a lot of places where sports and students of that nature can blossom. But it ain't really a lot of places where niggas want to rap, be actors, be gangster rapper actors. And shit like that. It ain't really no lane for them when they're young. Cause you gotta do that thug shit after you an adult. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You gotta do that thug yeah. shit in your own fucking house, right? Yeah. Right. So Warren was a place that kinda let you do that as long as you wasn't squabbling and gang banging, repping the sick, they let you do your thing. And and that's how I met Quila. We were just all a part of the same little group. You know what I'm saying? So, what was the name of the group? 
It wasn't like a specific group. We're just a group of students. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, probably call yeah. us them kids. <laughs> to the adults, yeah. we was probably just them kids, them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. So y'all always rapping and doing bro, your thing. Word to my mama. Every day, a nigga out there. This nigga went to school with me at a different school, but he know every day out there. We, if, if you had it in you to be loud, to talk shit, to rap, to do any of that, I got your back. And if you was an athlete, you got a sports game coming up or something, pep rally, we gonna stand in the courtyard and rap about you dunking on niggas all morning. Turn it up. We got your back. Cause we want you to go to the game and really feel like you gonna tomahawk a nigga into the stands. For real, represent us with pride. Cause we gonna put on, you know what I'm talking about? From high school to Right, great. Rapping in front of the whole pep rally. In front of the whole pep rally. Doing, like, doing the school festivities, get the rest of the game. The whole school out trying to bring forth that energy for the for the whole school that they wanted to be a part of, which is really what music is too to this day. Goddamn me, it's getting motherfuckers to feel your energy. Goddamn it, the same energy that we got. I want you to feel this. You know what I'm saying? When I tell you that I'm great and I feel like God, you should feel like you God too. Goddamn me, say you know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So, so that that's. Uh, that's the kind of vibe we had every morning. Like, every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Like he, that's, what, that's what we wanted to exude on people. My you pops told like, me, good good rappers, good musicians, good artists, they not really live. They not really past the level of just having talent. On, see, you're not good. It's them who have talent. You have natural born talent. Really not be good at what you do because you ain't like, honest with your skill. Right? But this nigga say, you not really good at rapping, singing, or anything entertaining until like when you're done, they feel how you intended for your own self to feel when you was conveying your shit, right? right. right. Like Pop, if Pop jump on the mic and he mad, nigga, you fuck around and whoop a nigga when the song right. go off. Right. 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 You know right. what I'm right. saying? If Pop said right. he really right. on his dead T-Jones or however it go, now you reminisce. You know what I'm saying? Sir, look, TLC, come on. Red light special, nigga, my mom, I lick the yeah. daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All kind of shit. Right. But that, that was our goal and we yeah. mastered it. Yeah. You know, so we knew, we knew we had something. We, we, we also knew we had to get some money though. You young, mama struggling, grandma struggling, these people, they putting in to raise you, but they can't have you looking like a real teenage high school rap star. So we're gonna get that shit ourselves and shit happen. And in that generation, they educated to educate us on financial literacy, putting your money where it's supposed to be, investing, investments, time, you know what I mean? Like time management, development, you know what I'm saying? All of that. So these are things that we gotta learn ourselves on the way. Get to where we look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, literally. Yeah. On, literally. On, top, on top of how society already sees and views us and fighting it, you know, the depression, this and that. Like it, it, it's it, like it skipped the generation. You know what I mean? so it's like it's, it's like it's man, no front, all bullshit aside, and it's gonna sound cliche as fuck, bro. My inspiration look Wayne. To be seven, eight years old and know this nigga's not much older than you. He went platinum. He jumped on the mic, he hold his own with all the adults. He on features with adults. They let this nigga in adult clubs. They let this nigga rock like he grown. That shit made me feel like there's a chance. I literally thought any day now, me, Greg, my cut somebody's gonna get that. Right. Hey, you're famous, come on. You know what I mean? Like a nigga, Cause of Lil Wayne though. Cause then we nigga. all in the dough. Cause Lil Wayne here though. You know what I mean? Let's go. Okay. Like, yeah. How did your friends, when you first, okay, when you was in high school, how did your friends take that, you know, you rap? They rapped with me. <laughs> All your friends did? Man, yeah. say, I bullshit you not. Nigga, whether whether so, they really so took you, it serious. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah. 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 Like, we, went to, we, we go all the way back from high school to now. Yeah. Currently from the day I met this man at school. Okay, so I'm a section eight baby. I, every high school in San Antonio, I went to Marshall, uh, Judson, Thomas Jefferson Holmes, West Campus, John Jay, goddamn, I put, section eight kept me oriented in my community, goddamn. <laughs> 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 So I'm out here, right? And like, I go, I meet him at Marshall. And this, his energy is what made us brothers, you feel me? He, oh, every day rapping. I'm like, oh, okay. Back when the grinder beat came out, the do 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 Okay, let's get it in. Yeah, we, we back, we back no freestyle. He on, I mean, let me, let me catch the back go then. What's going down? And we in there, like, I'm talking about, we stepping so much every day, Marshall made a step team. Like, yeah, yeah, they did. They I, did. I, I think I forgot about this shit. But they, they, they made a step team and everything, and got kids to start stepping and competing and all that. You know what I'm saying? And they, they came from the energy of me meeting this man at Marshall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We were rapping every day and then just communicating all that. But as soon as I met him, I was like, dang. We're going to keep doing this. <laughs> dang. Like, we got adults giving us flyers to go pass out to get other, other kids like us to come <sighs> to these clubs and do this thing that we love doing. And it got to be something frugal in this. It got to be something yeah. frugal about it here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, so we, we, it, more than a hobby, it came a part of our life, like a lifestyle. Like, you're gonna work, grind, and rap. 
We're going to play basketball, work out, and rap. Same you know what I'm saying? You know, what, you know who believed in it? You know who believed in the niggas from high school, straight off high school, bro? That man Scott Maloof, bro. I can't even front. A and H and Scott Maloof. I don't even know where y'all are, but I'll never forget y'all's names, bro. We was young, acting bad in high school, rapping and shit. And I remember Maloof was like, they gonna put your face on a flyer if you win. And he was passing out the flyers at all the school, and he was even like, However many people that get to come in, and when they come in, they come in off the face of your name. Oh, such and such told me to come. I need a piece of what they spent, all kind of little deals, just to get the youngsters involved so the club was popping, man. Appreciate them boys, because, like, them events don't even happen no more. Right. Since they stopped making them events. For real, they was, like, literally the only people who cared enough about the generation in front of them to make sure we had somewhere to party and keep rocking and rapping it. For real, for real. Never forget that shit. Man, so what's your creator process like? So before you, you know, before you get to writing, man, I'm really, I, hey, I ain't gonna lie, fool. I'm really fucking dope, nigga. I'm really fucking dope, nigga. Yeah, I usually fucking dope. think of like just a line or a catchphrase that I think is fucking live, and we'll just, I'll just go from there. You know what I'm saying? I'll just go from there. A lot of times, no front, I like to uh, write in silence or come up with what I'm gonna say in silence until I have at least like the first you know, four, eight bars ready, just to see if it flows, and I'll probably cut the beat off of me. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? I got you. But yeah, that's 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 really it. I, you gotta you gotta have a quote to, to warp everything around. You know what I mean? Like sliding, flex, better. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like give me a word, give me a word. No, <laughs> fuck no, with you. What about you? What's the correct creative process like? Shit, same shit, like, on some real shit, just, after whatever daily activities you did, you know what I'm saying, bills, processing, whatever, when you finally got your time, I get fucked up. I yeah. smoke some weed, sip some liquor, and then, uh, okay, here we go. Find right. a beat that I can feel and keep it real, goddamn me, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's pretty much the process. Unless something comes up organically, like we chilling in a session, we playing dominoes. It's been our life. Like, we go put on a beat, we freestyle, boom, and then fuck around and make a song. Goddamn me, because we sit here at a table playing dominoes freestyle. That's how it's yeah, came, right, came right, right, right. We was playing dominoes and uh, my little cousin, Mario, R. I hate RP. RP. But um, he, he was like, you use too many syllables. Your bars is hot, but you use too many syllables. They're long. The They're long. You need right. to, and he was like, you need to like one, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And it pissed me off, right? Because that felt like a challenge. When you think that you're the shit, anyone telling you that you can't do something with what you think you're the shit at is a challenge. So, right there on the spot, I was like, if you drip hard, I drip water. I'm plugged in like a phone charger. Ain't got a place for sports, bitch, I've been a baller. Coinstar can't serve this many quarters. You know what I'm saying? And they were just like, why don't you do that in the lab? Why do you have to try so hard? Why do you have to overthink and give us this Nas shit? And I'm like, because that's my favorite. Fuck yeah, y'all, yeah, right? right? But, and that's how it goes. Really, it's 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 really just about trying and running with the idea. That's really what it's all about, man. Just run with the idea, mm -hmm. and make sure that the next line is either just as hot or hotter as the last line, and you'll literally be all right all the way to the bottom of the sixteen. Just don't accept a shitty line from your own self, and you'll yeah. be okay. No doubt. No, no doubt. doubt. No doubt. As you're doing your thing, you know, you're already in high school. You discovered your talent. When did you actually just start putting it down on the wax? When did you just start like taking it serious, serious? Like, man, this is what I'm gonna do. The same year that I caught my case is that that year, 07, 2007 was a vital year. You know what I'm saying? All the shit that I had done before that caught up to me and opportunities hit all at the same time. But um, nigga faces on flyers, me and Greg, my cousin Belon, even Ace Boogie, Black Mexico, we was making noise, dancing, just being around, just being flying niggas in high school at the spots. And um, my brother, he, he had been kind of stiff on me that year because I hadn't moved in his house because I was fucking up. Yeah. And um, he, he came down and he put that clamp on me. I moved in his house. He made me help me be all kind of shit. Man shit that a nigga needs, though, that a boy needs. And um, he's going to give me one Christmas gift. And he asked me what I wanted. I told him I wanted a home studio. And he's like, well, how are you going to record it? And I was like, well, nigga, you, you, you're a computer geek in the military. Nigga, you record it. And he was like, so you want me to basically be your studio slave as your Christmas gift? And I thought he was going to tell me no. But in 07, we dropped the tape. It was called, like, um, It Goes Down, Volume 1. 
And um, we were selling in high school, and I had it up when we were doing the Queen of Video. Somebody was like holding it in the background and shit. And uh, it did well, bro, no lie. We were selling like CDs, five dollars, give it to you for free if you would just accept it. You know, some people, they, I tell them, just give me one dollar, give me anything. Nigga, we wound up making like $1,800 off them hoes in like two months. You know what I'm saying? Selling, selling penny CDs. That shit was lit. It made me believe in myself. And it made the homies believe too, because they started recording for real and coming to the house and seeing that my brother gonna give everybody who's willing to jump in the lab, you'll get an opportunity to make yourself some money off your talent instead of like off with the birds. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's really what brought everybody to rise. Thank you, Tony, Anthony Savage. We love you. That's it, sir. So do you prefer the freestyle or, or pen and pad? Which one works for you? It depends on the goal. I actually do not record freestyles. I might record like something that I know off the top of my head as far as like what direction I'm going, which, which like lines is gonna be the most potent. I make sure I fit those in. But as far as like just absolutely don't know what I'm gonna say at all and come to the lab, I hate being that unprepared. I actually want to set up a studio session just specifically for that. Cause I feel like that's an in the way shit. You might not leave with nothing in life. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. for real. Nah, I'm agreeing with my brother, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, hey, what? I'm like, God damn. We hate when motherfuckers get the lab on the repair. Like, you know what? You, you know, they get paid by the hour off of us, right? Yeah, now if we <laughs> make it a point to literally create from scratch right there in the box, that's different. That's different. But like, if, if, if we done already sent everybody to be, Everybody got their 16s ready, and it's obvious that we come into the lab prepared. That one person who's not prepared, you might have to roll down, but you ain't recited it enough to where you can turn the paper over and just spit that hole with your hands. That's how we need you to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And when you come in that prepared, your shit's always good. But a great freestyle is always appreciated. I love a love Man! Love a love. You know what? Yeah, a nigga right. really just don't want to waste the engineer time. That you know, because it might not come out to a song. It might just be a long ass flow with a bunch of hot rhymes. And then it's like, well, what do we do with this? Record it, try to make it a video, put it on. Does it fit on the tape? Do we just drop it and hope they like it? There was no answer. You see, that's why we don't do that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you feel about the, the, the Quitter video going viral? The Quitter video I mean, going viral? The Quitter video, excuse me. That, that, was, that was a blessing, and it was an indicator. Oh. Um, but all in all, it was it was it was fun, and it was that little bit of recognition to like, you know, even even if I just wanted to be like an old geezer, I tell myself like, hey, you know, I was I was a freestyle champ every year that I was in school. You know? yeah. Ask about your dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that little proof right there that I could always say that even if you know whatever is whatever, and then nigga fucking forget every word in his mind, Martha. Have Alzheimer's and however God forbid. But you get what I'm saying? Like that's already set in stone. And the nigga appreciated that's already set in stone. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So during your time, you get locked up. So when you come home, what you drop after you come home? Man, we dropped this tape called The City Is Mine. <laughs> and then I, I uh, actually, no lie, fam, I got put on monitor. And I could not really make no effort to do that tape right at all. I didn't really get to push it right at all. And um, then I started getting in more and more trouble with it probation and then it became parole and shit. Like, but a nigga did try to put out one. You know what I'm saying? And that, it kinda did well, but the monitor fucked it all up because all this YouTube shit, all this selling your own music on the internet, it wasn't really like live like that. And I didn't really understand it like that. Yeah, you had to do that shit like off a computer. You weren't really making moves like that off a cell phone back then. That your phone didn't have that type of power. So I, I was cuffed to the house. You know what I'm saying? That's the shit that, that happens when you when you when you're doing it though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, How you feel about the support of San Antonio? It's getting there. Keep going. Um well, I think it starts with the 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 shows. Streaming can only take you so far. There's only so many people who are gonna be by that phone and available for that shit. In San Antonio, it's 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 uh it's everybody is is busy right now, kind of city. Everybody got their next thing they need to do to get their paper. So you can't always count on a motherfucker streaming your shit out there and you eating like that and seeing that as support, right? But the shows will tell you where it's at. And that's and that's what we're getting on. There's there's starting to be more places for rappers to come spit their shit, more places for people to come check the artists out. 
you know. But um, really, it, it do be it do be like some uh some promoters in the way sometimes, you know. And and, and sometimes it be niggas who can't rap that's like thirsty for a spot, and they make it hard for like niggas who really do got talent because their desperation of having doing shit that niggas who really believe in themselves would never fucking do. You know what I'm saying? But it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. It's not a competition. I don't think so. Yeah. Not for me and my cousins and my brothers. Yeah. On the real, I feel like all the camps that could fuck with us are already rapping there on their level and everybody has their place. You know what I'm saying? Like BNO has its place. About that life, you know, it's like and you look at it like a like a minor up underneath or a major, you know what I'm saying? But we have our place, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, whatever the next group is doing, the next camp is doing, we love them, we respect them, whatever, but that ain't no competition to us. Like, who's 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 taking my place? You know what I'm saying? Like, who 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 would take Mexico place? You know what I'm saying? Who would take Greg the Barber's place? This nigga Barber and a rapper literally at the same time. Like he'll get you fresh before your show. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't, I don't feel like it's it's competition. I try to create some. I don't nobody really bite because everybody comfortable in their lane. They be like, man, Trey gone. No, no. I was just on Facebook the other day talking about who the freestyle king. They laughing like, boy, gone. No, no. You right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause we comfortable in our lanes. So what sets your music apart from the rest? I think the fact that like I can intellectually talk sleazy as you need me to. Okay, okay. You know what I mean, right? Like, like you ever watch the movies where like the boss walk in and he's talking in a way where everybody understand him and his lingo, it don't sound over educated, under educated, but he sends the strongest message anyway. You don't know what made him use this choice of words. Like instead of saying audacity, nigga, I'll say gumption. What gave you gumption? Think that was like, <laughs> it's shit like that that seeing certain messages to where they be like that nigga really got something that nigga locked you know what I mean and I don't mean I literally say gumption in the rap but like if we have other conversations I might say gumption instead of dancing just like in a flow I might say something different than everybody else and we're sending the same message we might all rap about having a brick in the car and I use a whole different you know this nigga's really like that bro uh, wow. it's not no act no cap this nigga really like that bro it's in real life like yeah Right, check it out. Like, I'm from Indiana, right? So that's like from that's like an outside ear coming in. You feel me? And bro, this 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 the hottest people around here, bro. Okay. I promise you, bro. This man, I, to me, you know, everybody can stage their own opinion. But, but bro, I'm telling you, bro, like that man, the hottest man around this one, bro. He be, he be popping this shit. You think if you would have stayed out of trouble or reported some conflicts? Oh yeah, I'm sure, man. And, and cause, okay, I put it like this: if, if, even if I would have just had the knowledge, or to do it from the house, or vice versa, if the technology was more accessible to stay in the house, that time between like me get put on monitor, me violate monitor, me going back, me coming home, going back again, all those little short pieces of time, I could have left content to keep floating around the same way I left that Quilla video floating around. But I never did that because I didn't understand the technology. That's that's a pool on me, you know what I'm saying? But my mom was on break and getting bread the ways that I knew how. And it 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 kind of crashed courses with trying to rap unless you master your formula completely. Yeah. How you feel about the Charles the White comments? Man, fuck that dude, man. <laughs> Damn, he went straight into that, bro. Man, fuck that dude. No, look, okay. Like, he's extremely entertaining, right? The shit he says is extremely entertaining. But it's only entertaining until it pertains to you. You know what I mean? Like, everybody loves a good joke, but don't nobody want to be the butt of one. Especially, like, uh, insults and I did it on purpose to rub it in kind of joke. Like, so what if it's a lot of blacks and Mexicans and mixed breeds? Like, nigga, baby a mixed breed. You know what I'm saying? I mean... I don't see the point in hating unless like you literally done had like a gal you fuck with took 
beyond your control. Like I'm talking about the bright nigga, the mixed nigga, the what do you call him, the mulatto mixed kid? Yeah, yeah. Man, he probably didn't had a bitch that was super fun, he loved the dev. Aka, aka, aka. All about a mulatto mixed kid. Now he got a complex. It was probably a couple of little mulatto mixed chicks that he wanted to fuck with. And they was like, uh-uh, nigga, you ain't tall enough. You don't ball enough. You know what I'm saying? And now he got a problem. But most of all, he dissed my kinfolk. And he got real specific, even about the nigga, the way, the way his origin is, what his mom is, what his daddy, all that kind of shit. It's like, Kimpo, you going too far. I got the footage, you on, on the internet talking about how the mixed mulatto kids is the future. They the peacekeepers and they gonna change the world and all this and shit, and now you dissing them. You know what I'm saying? You know what the real is. You got a little complex about the mixed breeds, but don't be talking about Black Mexico like that. I mean, maybe it was a leg maybe it wasn't, but that was straight hating, and I really feel like Whoever from his city that he want to line up, he think he rap with us. They can't. We could have a catalog war, a freestyle battle, a contest, a versus, whatever. And I stand on that. But um, to associate us based on like who's mixed with what, what kind of motion is going on? You know what I mean? First off, nigga, we got natural, creamy, light skinned chicks. Don't need no surgery. Mama, this color, pops that color, and it's looking. Good, you know what I'm saying? So the bullshit in between is just a nigga bumping his mouth because he can't be a part of what we got going on, in my opinion. It's a more low-key city. You're less likely to get shot if your ass is a rapper. You can wear your jewelry how you want to. It's easier to come across something foreign, Latin, from a different state, different country, military babies. It's chicks out here with jobs, y'all. It's chicks out here with jobs, long hair, got their own pay and fail. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga can hate if he want, but Really don't fuck that dude. And, and and it all started when he associated that BTV shit with, with San Antonio. Like, I'm not feeling that. No diss to the dead at all. How about how about we let the dead be associated with whatever the dead did? All on their own. Regardless what city they was in when they when that occurred, that was their own actions on their own self. And for that to be like the original thing that created any reflection and attention. That's bullshit, man. That don't. That incident was just an incident. That ain't some shit that you could put a spotlight on our city for and say, oh, that's the culture down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. I mean, no front. If 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 that was the case, it would be a lot more niggas that don't even rap at all, walking around shining, getting their fucking top blown off simply because they shine. What the fuck? It's Texas. You can carry a fucking gun and kill the person trying to do something wrong to you. They ain't playing them games down here. Right. Motherfuckers ain't dry snatching niggas' chains and trying niggas and reaching for niggas' gals and saying blah, 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 and whatever the fuck ever. Nah, man, that's not the open tone of this city. We play. We get money and we stay low key. Fuck what he, man, fuck that dude, man. <laughs> fuck that dude, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well said, yeah. Then you have an exclusive interview with Trey Trey about that. Shout out to him for a while, bro. Man, my name is Trey Trey about that. You can find me on all platforms at Trey Trey about that. Real shit. What platforms we on with the real, real shit, shit podcast? Real shit dot ICU. Real shit dot ICU. The chick is with a C. Real chick. Like real chick. Yeah. Chat. You know what I'm talking about? And oh, everything you need to find me on is under my name. At Trey Trey about that on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? On all social medias. And uh, as a matter of fact, let me tell you, I got we got this little badge coming up, man. This little river badge. It's gonna be a big deal. Let me show y'all. Let me tell you. Check this out. Check this out. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Nah, for real, man. It's gonna be a big deal. Look, it's the riverfront badge, man. Live entertainment from me. It's gonna be a live DJ, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be out there in Kingsbury, Texas. So y'all be in attendance, and it's way, way, way in July 8th. I'm about telling you about it right now. Kayaks, goddamn me, we got the, we got the little, what's the They're gonna have tools, bungalows and all that tools, kind of shit. Inner tubes, it's going down. It's going down, so, so be sure to be in attendance. It's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, Riverfront Bash, 2760. There's gonna be a lot of them goddamn mulattos out there. Cheryl Kingsbury, Texas. <laughs> y'all be sure to tune in, come chill with us, man. Yeah, fuck the go, man. You know I need that freestyle. Nope. Oh, verse. It don't matter which one. Oh, we gonna we gonna use a beat. I don't give a fuck. You gonna give me a word or how we gonna start it? Give me a word. 
Give me your word. Give me your word, fuck what you heard. I be flipping the birds and I'm puffing up on that herb. Nigga, I'm live, I'm lit I leave a hated shitty, grimy and greedy. The king in my city, licking them titties like I'm Diddy. You know it, don't call me them damn boys. When I drop them seeds, I'm up in that grass, weed growing, yeah, it's green. I'm lean, machine with that team, with that beam. If you seen, I leave you hissing steam, hell yeah. Nigga, I'm extraordinaire. We add lead to the side like a three legged shell. It's a bell, up up in hell, nigga, be a well. Do or die, don't get hot. Damn. I don't get how I'm on supply Nigga, I'm so fly, jump out of the plane and don't die Nigga, hit the flow on that hoe You don't know I got steps going and go some fucking mo. What's the deal? I'm high in the mountain on the hill Let's be still for your ass get popped like Advil Will get killed, nigga, I'm ill And I'm sick, it nasty the way that she get down on that dick Disgusting, nigga, try me and I'm busting We can drop some pistols and I get here concussion If we boxing, strong like a motherfucking oxen And everything off in my cigarette on strongest toxins Hell to the hill, you already know That young got the flow and I'm out there too, I know I got that damn pistol, I blow it like a whistle I'm so Fucking official, you already know the initials. Hell to the yes, I'll be at my best. Breath fresh, I can fresh. Maybe I can feed him. I'm about to lean him. A bad mama see the sip margaritas. Hell yeah, nigga, I'm fucking litty. You already know, I told you licking on that titty, yeah, I'm live. Grinding, yeah, I got to get it, that's admitted. Can't nobody do it the way I spit it, I'm prolific. Nigga, got the nouns and verbs, I got to lots of words, and I got to lots of herbs. This Spurs jersey on my back, best know how to act before I rat to tat tat Lee yeah, ass fucking flat, like a mat. Bless the, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we out. We out. <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it, yeah. Damn, she's big, man. You better go on the food to spit that. <laughs> I don't remember that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can practice that. Oh, you did too? Hell yeah. Nah, no, you said, man, sometimes, you know, you know what I said? Nah, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't like the whole song. Man, we up in here, man. I appreciate you. Creating administration off up in here. ATX off up in here. It's nothing but love off up in here. Man, you know what I'm talking about? CFN off up in here. Man, hold up. Stop playing studios, showing us the love off up in here. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Much appreciation. Eric Gossett, JG, Ray Ray. We love y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Yo. Yeah. Look, yeah. Can't get a little recording, baby.